brought to you by BoardGameAtlas.com, the fastest growing board game community in the world. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Viscounts of the West Kingdom in about three minutes. Prototype copy used. Part of our program to promote games from Aotearoa. It has a solo mode. It's a game for up to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a reasonably complex game. The Great Western Kingdom is in decline and it is beginning to fracture. You're one of the Viscounts, a local ruler seeking to grow and expand their influence in this period of instability. Will you win the favour of the people, the faith and the nobility? Or will you be crushed under the weight of your debts and criminal connections. The game ends when either the deed or debt cards run out. The winner is the player with the most points, as indicated by this symbol, and those points come from deeds, debts, buildings, manuscripts, and your workers in the castle. Deck building. You each start with a basic deck of cards that you can customize throughout the game. Player turn. There are four main actions, and they each have an associated skill and resource. Trade uses the money bag symbol and silver. Constructing buildings uses the hammer symbol and stone. Placing workers in the castle uses the fleur de lis and gold, and transcribing manuscripts uses the cross and ink wells. The criminal icon is wild and counts as any other symbol. Each turn you will shift existing cards to the right and play a new one to the left. The symbol on the three cards showing are your total strength for taking the matching action. Cards with the lightning bolt icon provide a benefit as soon as you play them. Cards with this icon provide an ongoing bonus and cards with the X icon give you a benefit when they go to the discard pile. Once you play your card, you must move your Viscount clockwise as many spaces as the cards cost. At an outside location, you can trade as shown on the map. Here we have four bags, so trade for two stone. We can also spend silver to supplement that. Also at outside locations, we can pay hammers and stone to place a building. Note this building gives us a permanent hammer upgrade, and each building boosts something unique. Place the building on an adjacent spot and claim the reward. If the building is adjacent to another one, claim the reward in the middle. At an inner location, you can claim a manuscript using crosses and inkwells equal to its cost. Also at an inner location, you can play fleur de lis and gold to place a number of workers as shown on this card into the castle. If you have three of your workers in one spot, one each move right, left, and up. Repeat until you no longer have three workers in any space. Bumping other people's workers off if more than three workers total are in an area. You can dismiss an adjacent worker by paying its silver cost to add its icons to your current action. And you can also pay its silver cost to recruit it to your discards. You gain the bonus power on the corner when you do either action. Some actions, like playing criminal cards, will shift your morality scores. When these tokens meet, a collision happens, and at the end of your turn, where they finish determines what reward you get and what other players get as well. Finally, redraw to your hand limit, it's now the next turn. Why would you like this game? Viscounts is a fascinating game that feels fresh and original. I've personally never played something that combines all these different mechanics quite so seamlessly. There are many ways to get points, such as controlling the center of the castle and the crazy mess that goes on there. And each player starts with a different unique character for their deck and different starting resources. And the the variety of characters you can recruit to your deck is huge. Combine all that with the building upgrades you can get and you have a game where the path to victory is very different each time. The best thing about this game is despite the many paths you can take, your main decision each turn is, which one of these three cards do I play? However, this game is tricky to teach as every part of the gameplay is interconnected. And when you first start playing, it can be quite overwhelming. And you simply cannot do everything in the game well. Not having a focus will lead to a frustrating play experience. Like this idea but love collecting cows? Consider Great Western Trail. Viscounts of the West Kingdom. It's a little bit different. If you enjoy this video, support us on Patreon, listen to our podcast, and check out our website.